So I've been asked a few times about how you transition safely on some of the steep slopes you would have seen me skiing in many of my videos. And of course, the short and sweet answer is, with a hell of a lot of care. But there's also a lot, quite a lot of thought that goes into that. So first things first, you want to try and find a good spot. If you're looking for some kind of natural terrace or natural little ledge that you can dig into. And then basically you want to spend a lot of time digging a big shelf. Dig it as deep and as flat as you can. Like think your skis are 180 centimeters long, give or take. So you're going to need at least that much room to be able to put your skis on. So yeah, take your time, dig, dig, dig. There's no point rushing at this point. You need to be quick and efficient as you might need to beat the weather or beat the sun. But yeah, don't rush things. You don't want to be making a mistake here. So I've dug myself a pretty big platform just here. And in theory, I'm on a 55 degree snow slope right now. So definitely take a lot of care. And then once you've done that, well, this whole time you're still going to have your bag on your back with your skis attached to your bag. Still get your crampons on, you still get your axes out, face into the slope to take your bag off, put it in front of you, push it into the snow to remove your skis from your bag. Do it one at a time carefully and stick the ski tail down into the snow as deep and as securely as you can. So then you don't have to think about, worry about it for a while. Then you want to do as much faff as, poss as possible while you still get your bag in front of you between you and the snow slope so that you're less likely to drop things. So yeah, do your de-layering or putting layers on, getting your dry gloves out, etc. food, drink. Then once you've done all that, you can start thinking about taking your crampons off. Still keep your axes out just in case, but yeah, give yourself as much space as you can on your platform. Do your crampons one at a time. And if necessary, if you're on a particularly narrow platform, take off one crampon first, you that downhill crampon, put your, and put that ski straight on. So you've always got the security of having an edge. You might be able to take both crampons off if you've got plenty of space. That's up to you, you need to make that cool. But either way, yeah, take your crampons off, put your skis on as quickly and efficiently as possible. Downhill ski first. And the trick to doing that on a steep slope is to dig the tail into the snow slope somewhere behind your platform so it's nice and secure. Potentially dig the tip in as well, depending on how big your platform is. Then finally, once you've done that, you've got both skis on, you've got your poles back out, then you put your axes away. Potentially, you might even be keeping one axe out if you want to ski with it. But yeah, as that, at that point, that's when you're basically ready to go. And then, all that's left to do... Oh, I forgot to say, don't forget to think about which direction you want to be facing when you start, and where you're going to put your first turn in. The last thing you want to do is put both your skis on, realise you're facing the wrong way, and have to turn them around and put, take them back off again. So yeah, think about your first couple of turns, and which direction you want to ski, then put your skis on. Then, finally, once you've done all that, it's time to enjoy the ski. Strap in, have fun, be safe, and enjoy.